a lot of companies have made it seem like oils are the worst food ingredients on earth just so they can sell their products and you can use all your money to buy the healthiest of oil but if you are using your oil wrongly then you may be eating a very unhealthy fat the truth is that no oil by itself is good or bad it is actually how it is extracted and how you use that particular oil that makes it unhealthy if you want to know how to use your oil the right way then keep watching this video and if you haven't subscribed please do it now oils are made up of fatty acids it can either be saturated or unsaturated fatty acid mono unsaturated or poly unsaturated fatty acid or trans fatty acid don't worry about all the things that i have mentioned <laughs> What you have to know is that upon all the above they have mentioned, trans fatty acid is the worst kind of fatty acid. It is very notorious and very unhealthy. It raises your bad cholesterol and lowers your good cholesterol, causing early heart attack and stroke. However, the good news is that it occurs in very small quantity naturally, but is widely present in processed foods. Why? Because of how we use the oils. After an oil has hit its highest temperature, it starts breaking down and releasing free radicals. Free radicals are molecules that attack our cells and fight our cells, damages our cells, and causes all kinds of diseases, including wrinkles and aging. So the big question is, how do you prevent the oil from reaching that point that releases the free radicals? The key point is to know the oil you use and use it for its purpose let me repeat it know the oil you use and use it for it. now almost all the oils on the market can be grouped into refined oil and virgin oil refined oil are, are mostly the oils that have been extracted using either heat or solvents and virgin oils are oils that have been extracted using mechanical processes or by pressing and so you can you can see cold pressed this uh, maybe cold pressed coconut oil cold pressed this oil so those are virgin oil they do not pass through any heat and so they are recommended as very healthy and the other ones are refined oil but both of them plays their various roles you don't have to be deceived you just have to know which one you are using and for what purpose or what meal you are using it to cook refined oils mostly have very high smoke points sometimes over 200 degrees celsius and so these ones are recommended for deep frying and any other cooking that demands a very high temperature however virgin oils on the other hand are very they have very low smoke points and so when you expose virgin oil to frying thinking that you are using a healthy oil you may exceed the temperature or the smoke points of that oil and then it would end up releasing free radicals into um, the food that you are cooking so ideally virgin oils are recommended for very low temperature cooking like salad dressing maybe frying of egg or anything that is has a very low temperature during cooking and that is what virgin oils are good for and those that have high temperature cooking refined oils are good for so this is what i recommend for you i want you to get those two in your house so if you are using um if you are doing maybe salad or doing just stir fried vegetables or anything that does not demand very high temperature you take your your virgin oil and that is what i do i have sunflower is not refined and don't be deceived it, the oil can be coconut oil sunflower oil any oil that has been termed healthy sesame oil and all of that that we think that they are healthy they have their refined counterparts so they can be virgin sunflower oil and refined sunflower oil so don't think that every sunflower oil is um is maybe cold pressed or is a virgin oil no 
you may be thinking wrongly so you have to select when you go to the market select which one is um virgin oil and which one is refined oil and then as and when you are cooking what food you use either the refined oil or you use either the virgin oil lastly reusing oil can also produce free radicals so if you are using a refined oil to fry your chicken i would recommend that after frying the chicken use that same oil to make your gravy or any stew you want to, to make other than putting that oil down and using it to fry plantain putting it down and using the same oil to fry plantain or another chicken the next time can be very unhealthy as well now my last bonus for the day oils are oxidized by three agents the first one is temperature which i have talked extensively about it the next one is light so it's advisable that you store your oil in a tinted glass or a tinted glass jar or a tinted bottle so that light would not um, react with the oil and cause it to oxidize even before you use it and also keep your oil in a cabinet where the place is dark yes and for oxygen don't expose your oil to oxygen like opening the oil and then not closing or pouring oil in a bowl and then just leaving it there without covering it it can expose itself to oil and then it will cause the oil to oxidize which becomes very unhealthy i just hope that this video was very helpful and if it is please like subscribe and share the video to someone else who needs to know and please don't forget to click on the notification bell for any um, video that i release thank you so much for watching see you another time bye bye